always said it was never meant to happen But when it did, I have to say it was pretty nice Waking up in bed with the sun streaming in Through the window instead of the city lights Feels like one of those days when grief ain't even gonna touch your sides And it feels like one of those days when I'm gonna say I love my life Coffee and a waffle looking like the body of a model Got my own genie and she's popping in a bottle Every wish is so delicious She's got me blowing kisses to my missus There ain't no rain so we bound for the sea Hang around with ice cream while we're down by the beach You're for real and I ain't fibbing, believe me It doesn't get better than this, we keep it easy I'ma chill, forget about the mundane Boring till it comes, I'ma stay boring We keep it easy like a Sunday morning So I'ma chill, forget about the mundane Boring till it comes, I'ma stay boring Keep it easy like a Sunday morning Yo, I woke up late Wiped the sleep from my eyes And the need for a shave I don't need to be fly with my girlfriend's style yeah. Stepping outside, such a wonderful sight Not the cloud in the sky In love with the landscape She said, what's the plan, babe? I thought for a second Smoke salmon and some pancakes Start with the flat white Make mine a double shot Mid-afternoon, might swing by the bottle shop Grab a six-pack laying in the park Yeah, blazed as the daylight fades in the dark See an old man walking his dog Not hurrying at all Like he doesn't have a worry in the world And there's a my trees, I think to myself how lucky I be, I'm the luckiest son of the best mother that ever lived, yo it doesn't get much better than this, I'ma chill, forget about the mundane, boring till it comes, I'ma stay boring, we keep it easy like a Sunday morning, so I'ma chill, forget about the mundane, boring till it comes, I'ma stay boring, we keep it easy like a Sunday morning. Oh, okay. Yeah, as long as you can hear the music. We keep it easy like wolves on the Is the uh We keep it easy like chopping on the pole. We keep it easy the audio like low? by the beach. We keep it easy like going for what? the school. What? We keep it easy like line or Richie. We I mean I wasn't talking like before. I was setting all the we bullshit keep it easy up. Like easy eating, we keep it easy like Snoop Doggy Dog. I'm a chill. It's good now, nothing nothing changed. Except I started talking. We keep it easy like a Sunday morning. Yeah, I'm trying to not blow out. I listened to some of the stuff from last night. I don't know. We uh... keep it easy like a Sunday morning. Good point, Mizzoula. You bring up a very good point, sir. Mm. I mean, I can I can punch it up, but then then it can blow it out. That's what I worry about. Wanna build something that's ill Wanna be real but still have a couple bucks in the till Shit I don't wanna be rich But I love to be comfortable Don't wanna get in trouble being cuffed by a constable I wanna be the bomb like my lines were combustible Want you to sing along every time that I bust for you I wanna work a job when my boss don't belittle me Wanna be chilling on a beach in the Philippines Wanna kick these songs overseas with my killer team Is it too much to wanna see some peace in the Middle East? Wanna see Israel stop its occupation I want to see this hip-hop spread across the nation Want it to be the biggest genre that we have to offer I want to set the benchmark, a young and six to conquer I want to be remembered as an honest man Who never dug his fam in the squabble over dollars of my I make you want to move, I make you want to swing I want to make a tune that makes you want to sing I just want to make you think, yo So you can do your thing I just want to see you do your thing I make you wanna move, I make you wanna swing I wanna make a tune that makes you wanna sing I just wanna make you think, yo So you can do your thing I just wanna see you do your thing No, I don't wanna be a wannabe I wanna be Woo! one of a kind Wanna have nothing to hide Wanna be passionate like the love of my life what did Wanna you be expect, happy bro? with enough to survive Wanna be talented like Buster Rhymes uh. Busting a rhyme 
I wanna shed light like the sun in the sky So bright I blind that dumb sucker to try Smother my shine What? Something I write that gets stuck in your mind So utterly fly, you're up in the bind Still wondering why I wanna bring you back to 1995 right. Here we go, alright let's do this I've heard people say that <laughs> Too much of anything is not good for you, baby. But I don't know about that. There's been a time that we've loved and we've shared love and made love. It doesn't seem to me like it's enough. It's just not enough, baby. It's just not enough. quick programming note uh jackie heron i know you're working on some stuff based on the tracks that i gave you before um two of those tracks uh were cut there'll be special features and uh the rl stein one we added just a little thing in there uh because right now the way it is it 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 it's feels like one album then it sort of just has this abrupt shift so we added like a you know 20 seconds in there kind of explaining the whole thing about interviewing characters so uh check with me if there's anything you're worried about uh, I don't think. My guess is you picked all the best stuff. Uh, all right. What else we got here? Somebody was... Uh... Check. What? Hold on. Test. Yeah. What? Echo? Damn straight. Now that should be gone, right? Yeah, it is. Somebody was accusing this of being early 90s rap. Hells no. This is 2011. This is Australian rap. So there, in your face. And by the way, all of you can blame one Gattawag, Brant Hughes, for infecting me with the fundamentals in a big way. Because they're fucking rad. And if you think otherwise, then then I'm on, I'm on punch you. Yeah. Oh shit, son. Hang on, what do we got here? This makes me worried. Uh, let's see. I'm sad. I died. This is, you played this at my funeral. My crotch! <laughs> That was a hell of a belly. It used to be very skinny. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> is this just a tribute? This is weird. There's... Those are my thumbs. Yeah, dude. There's my face cut off. Here's my knee. Wait, where did you, where did you find this? This is amazing. Uh, wait, did you did you find this? Who who? What is? What am I looking at? This is like an auto-generated fake. This talker. <laughs> like, look, there's this is cut off. That's amazing, dude. <laughs> so weird, man. This is really weird. Like, 
I was only playing it because I thought you made it. Uh, and then look at this. Apparently, these are the top. Uh, <laughs> these are apparently the top searches for me. <laughs> Pry brush with America's Got Talent. Pry brush with wife. Pry brush with hair. Pry brush with net worth. And Pry brush with IMDb. Uh, you know what? I'm okay with that. That's fine. <laughs> Living in Austin, got three daughters, <laughs> white people, rich. Yeah. There we go. Brian Brunswood, Brunswood. White people, rich, Brian's living in Texas. Buying girls, Lexuses. He don't care what sex it is. Making babies. <laughs> Brian going crazy, throwing money in the air because his hair don't care. Throwing flames from my mouth because I live down south. Got money in my house. Money in my car, my baby got a lot of braces, money all over the place, money falling out of my underwater, cause white people rich, white people rich, what? white people rich, Brian yes, Brunswood, yes. Brunswood, Brun white people rich, white people rich, <laughs> white people rich, Brian Brunswood, Brunswood, I mean it's Brian Brunswood, I don't cut my own grass, cause we got so much money, you just sit on your ass, what? <laughs> oh, so good! Brushwood, brushwood. All right, let's do um uh bird 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 Love my deck over a million views. I like the way you uh 15 minutes could save you 15 percent or more on car insurance Jesus everybody Christ. knows that well why is that not auto muted it should have been auto muted with that thing that uh automatically did that thing How you doing? I talked to you for a second. How are you? Just where me. Where is it? This isn't it. Where is it? Where's Arkham Origins? You don't know where Arkham Origins is. You look like you play a lot of games. Don't play it with me. I'm Batman. All right. Are you waiting for Arkham Origins to come out? All right. Do you guys know where Arkham Origins is? Unfortunately, no. Where is it? <laughs> Swear to me, you don't know. I promise, my heart to God, I would never betray Batman. All right, I'll take your word for it. Where is it? Where's Arkham Origins? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Do you know where it is? Where is it? Where's Arkham Origins? Where is it? Where is it? I want a pre-order. Uh, the pre-orders are your ally. <laughs> Wow, dude. That was pretty great. <laughs> That's an ad? That's brilliant, man. That's great. Congratulations. Deliver to the back cave. <laughs> well played, gentlemen. Lazy. It was good. What else we got? That's weird. Let me look at the plugins. For some reason. I make you wanna swing. I wanna make a tune that makes you wanna sing. I just wanna make you think. Well, question we have going on. We had a big Twitter feud over this. I tweeted, "Do dogs have brains?" Because I like seriously wanted to know. And there was a huge debate. All hell broke loose. It was like the Christian War in 2013. It was cray cray. So. Basically, behind, I'll give you a little bit of a uh, story behind my question. So I was like, of course, dogs are, um, are mammals. 
Right? Yeah. Dogs are mammals. They're humans. Or and we're done with that. went somewhere. That almost went somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Death metal washer. Seen it a bunch. Man, am I allowed to delete all these if I don't like them? Alright, here we go. Alright. Losing me. You are losing me. Nah, I ain't feeling it. Ah, it's kind of going nowhere. That was a little bit problematic. Let me. When time is on your side. I got a question for you guys. There's something I can't quite figure out. First of all, how's my level relative to the music? If you want it, you better get it on it. Get it on it. If you want it, you better get it on it. Get it on it. If you want it, you better get it on it. Yo, T, you it up. Tell them how it is. The wrong side of the bed's got me bugging. Hot for the coffee got me buzzing. And butter in my muffin. Clocks got me up and running. Let me see. Okay. Man, something's not working on this. I originally have it all set up to, I guess, look at me. Stop autoplay is enabled, but it's not working anymore. Ugh. That's unfortunate. So I guess it's gonna autoplay. Whatever. That's a bummer. All right. Look at this. What are the odds? This is Phil Thomas Cat. Tom. Cat. The ambidextrous Phil Thomas Cat here. This next music video is about love in my favorite time of the year. I love that it's cooling down and that smell of the firing up of the car heater for the first time in a year. Here's a tune I wrote a long time ago. It's autumn on the Uncharted Zone. The green away, but I can't let it take you from me. Autumn draws us closer. No, I'm sitting here watching this tensor guy. cannot this is what is this i don't even uh let's grab okay well i will not delete anymore here in fact let me undo my deletes there we go mm, let's see blues raging <laughs> glue so a hose first let's draw a line that curves around for the nozzle 
An oval for the hole. A curvy line, and then another. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's only dirty if you're over the age of 12. Oops. No, don't change. I want to open. Why won't you? It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. It's not unusual to have fun with anyone. Well, we're not I bet that's hilarious. About with anyone. With you. It's not unusual. Like, I only let it go that long because, uh, because, uh, oh my God. No, no, Jesus. What? Do that again. God damn. If you want it, you better get it on it, get it on it. If you want it, you better get it on it, get it on it. If you want it, you better get it on it. Y'all check your what up. He turns around like, fuck this, I'm not going that way. Jesus. Classics, plastic, time for some action. Jesus. Biblical about these red skills, lyrically I'm bad grills. Man verse bar, surviving the building. Yeah, no kidding, man, that's crazy. Man, offline, I ain't off a build the base, kill the bait, bring it back in. Just for emphasis, penniless, emperors, raising the temperatures, sweltering. You better slip, slop, slap, catch a tan in the shade from my shit, hot track. Ah, there we go, now it's working again. We're bringing hip-hop back, trying to get it to the Oh my God, what is this? Is this, uh, is this banana? This is banana girl. Hello. First video of awesome ads. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's see what we have here today. It's called the time turner. When you press this button, you go back in time to change whatever you did wrong in the past. When you press this button, you go in the future to change whatever you did wrong in the future in the present. I know it sounds complicated, but just read the instructions. And... It's 50 payments of 99 cents. And who doesn't have 99 cents? Wait, does this um, go anywhere? I have 99 cents. And we have this case. This case. No. No! This case comes with earbuds. So while you're traveling in time, listen to some snazzy music. Oh, no! And we already downloaded the music on for you. We know what you like. do, 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 do. And just to make a deal with you... We'll throw in two of the time turners. Uh, this was actually pretty funny. Um, here, I'll grab a beer while you guys watch this if you haven't seen it. Wolverine. Cool guy. Everybody's favorite. Wolverine. Favorite X Man. Look, I've been going over your file, and I've made the decision to fire you because you are worthless. What? You're worthless, and you're fired. Fired? Let's add listening to your already impressive list of skills. I'll put it right next to, um, made of metal, the substance that the guy we fight the most can manipulate with his mind. But I've got these. Yes, very impressive. Also made of metal, but I guess handy. For all those fights where you can get right next to the person you need to attack. This is your power. That's it. You flail. I'm pretty important to this team, bub. Okay. Let's say Magneto is on one side of a bridge and he's killing a lot of people. Like a lot. And we arrive on the other side of the bridge. I'm gonna run at him. You're gonna run at Magneto. I'm very fast. Okay, even if you're very fast, Still gonna take you quite a while. A couple minutes. That's what, three dozen people dead? Or storm, fly over two seconds, suck him into a hurricane. Into a goddamn hurricane. Problem solved. I, I have a motorcycle, maybe I'd ride that. What is a motorcycle made of? Tubes. I'm sorry, you say tubes? Glass and tubes. I can really feel you picturing a motorcycle and trying. It's made of med, med, metal. 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 It's made of metal. It's made of metal, which magnet you can twist and bend and throw you off the bridge, and now you're f***ing dead. I'm very useful to the team. I guess, when you're not off somewhere having harrowing visions of your origin. Oh, where did I come from? Where did I come from, though? No, no you're not hearing me. No one gives a hot sh But where did I come from? Get a journal, Logan. 
You're gonna have to find gainful employment somewhere else. But what will I do? Where do I go? I don't really give a sh If I had my way, you and Beast would be over at the airport sniffing bags for the TSA. It's one of your things, isn't it? I can smell really far. That does not help us. You do not help us. I have a motorcycle. You're not all here, are you? I'm not all there. Are you just saying back to me what I am saying? Did you just repeat what I said? Well, shh, shh. Mm. Wolverine, I'm gonna write you a prescription um, for an antipsychotic that I'd like you to take. I have a motorcycle. You're fired. I'd kill you with my mind, but it doesn't feel right. I feel like I'd be putting down a special needs member of the cast of Footloose. <laughs> huh? Gonna go fight some nerds? Hey, Wolverine, you wanna see my claws? <laughs> hey. Hey, bub. F you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <clears throat> All right, what else do you guys beautiful people have for me? Let's, uh, we, we still need a, an opening video. Yep, this one's old, definitely. Bad lip reading from today? Is this a brand new one? Oh, yeah. Listen, son, I give you four cents each for them vanilla wafers. You can eat sand, young man. I mean, this guy's really ridiculous. Oh! Boy, I had one wonder candy and you chewed it. That's because my you butt... Shut it. Oh, dude! Uh-oh. No, I oughta well, just... I'll smack you till Friday and it's only Wednesday. <laughs> I'm gonna leave. Yeah, run on, Prince Valiant. Ah. Hey, we're gonna make this work, all right? Gonna get enough money for your toenail transplants, I promise. Quick, Dad, because the tops of my toes are, like, really slippery. Well, if I can just get this park to work, I'll get that bonus for Mr. Lannister, and we can protect your toes. Hey, guys, I'm white lightning. Ah! 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 You hurt my sunburn! <laughs> your breath stank, or what'd you eat? What? They're just baby cats. Jeez. Um, did that just happen? Yep. I even let them warm up slowly in the sun. I'm not feeling good. Cause we should have not eaten kitten meat. Is that the sound of your bowels? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I really need to... <sighs> Poor baby. <laughs> you need a song. Little bunny bunny. <laughs> you're so pretty and cute and you're precious to me. It's not doing much good. I love you. <laughs> Your bunny fur is gray. <laughs> oh, beautiful bunny, come play. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, there it goes again. I'm in my third trimester. I think I'll name it Pukey. <laughs> is Petey some kind of punishment? Nah, he's my twin. There's somebody out there human soul you rent for some kind of event she's my chocolate baby girl i hate it when they give you a frame a frame all right all right well played bad lip reading you guys have graduated like we were wishing you success and now you have it so go eat shit assholes <laughs> How about a break? You've been sitting around, Stain. You're drunk. I'm trying to make this place work for us. Oh, come on. Who are you? Who am I? I'm the guy who's 14 months sober that's running this joint like an honest businessman. You must be the other guy. I ain't got a dollar to my name. I got a junkie brother, and I spend my days changing oil for guys I knew in middle school. You want more? You gotta show them who you are. Tony. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Mandarin wants to see you. You gotta fuck off right now because the socks are playing on Nesson in 15. I'm in too deep this time, Stark. We're not gonna see the socks tonight. <clears throat> you are gonna use your advanced auto knowledge to build me a supercar. And if I don't, then I'm gonna make you rob a bank, then throw a fight, then smuggle drugs for me, then kidnap your own daughter, and then I'm gonna make you bet against the socks. No! Yeah, bro. You don't owe that shit stain nothing, Tony. Check this shit out. I'm a 
f***ing Iron Man. You're f***ing Iron Man. No, you're f***ing Iron Man. I'm a f***ing Iron Man right now. Yeah. Where's my super car? I'm a star, I'm a star, I'm a star, I'm a star. I'm a big, bright, shining star. I'm flying. I'm flying. Jarvis, what's the score of the Sox game? Seven to three, sir, over the New York Yankees. What's with the accent, you fucking queer? Stark, <laughs> I'm worried about you. Why are you worried about me? You should be worried no, about the I'm guy not God. that doesn't have a wicked awesome Iron Man suit. You could have been somebody, Stark. I am somebody. What's funny is like I'm, I, what chased me off finally was the 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 snickiness of his snicker impersonation of Ira Sockman about impersonators calling into radio. I'm sorry, what? Uh, Ira, you're in the air. Uh, hey, how you doing, Nikki? Listen, uh, this is Ira Sockman. Uh, I work down the hall here at Legal. We've been getting a lot of calls about the very religious nature of these impersonators calling in. Uh, the, the sheer volume of these impersonators and their litigious nature is very worrisome down here. If, if you could just ask your callers to uh, just tone it down a little bit or just continue to pretend I'm not here. Uh, yeah, either one, we'd appreciate that. Again, Keith, uh, keep up the good work. Keep up the good Holy work. Holy shit! No more impersonators of Caller J. That's Ira? amazing. That That's a thing that happened. That's amazing. Uh, wow. I feel like maybe I saw that before, but I totally forgot about it. That's incredible. Did we, uh, did, did we use that as an opening video yet? Because I feel like it needs to be. That's pretty huge. <laughs> that's pretty amazing. All right. That's, that's our, uh, I, I, I need a lieutenant. You're it until you die or I find someone better. Oh, dude, Air New Zealand as well, the naked people. With the naked. Yeah, dude. Did y'all motherfuckers see this? What? Fucking Gatawag brought the thunder this go around. Loved it. Looks amazing. Sans vous aimer. Welcome to Planet Rock, set it off, dropping French epilogues and many other memories of the Belle Epoque. Giving fellas men and clots to their cell phone. Catch a vessel to my mind, it's kind of fly like a UFO. Let's go, get yourself traveled and beyond. From the cat sneak through like the Bible. No, it has not, Tensor Guy. Bible on the Paris on the bomb with a speech jack and ankle by the rappers. Eat a lot, born appetite amongst the rap pack. Snatch a beat. The creme de la creme, heaven sent best batch from the factory. That's how it ought to be. There's much more to see. Merci All right. Beaucoup, la Let's see what else you guys got. Look, we've gone through just about everything. Let's see what else you guys got. Look, we've gone through just about everything. Let's see what else you guys got. Look, we've gone through just That's it. Boo. Ah, thank you. Right. 
All right, uh, man, now that we got an opening video, I don't know what else to focus on. Let me, let me tell you this much. Hang on, let me bring this down. Uh, there are a couple things you're going to want to look out for this episode. Number one, I'm going to bring it up with Justin, but I want to, I want to address the fucking awesome epidemic of tattoos. So I need, I need photos ready of all the tattoos. Just be ready for that. Because Justin, like, said that we have the highest viewer to tattoo ratio in all of entertainment and i think that's legit we'll talk about that later just uh, just uh, put a pin in that right between your eyes poke your brain go ahead and mm -mm -mm. Welcome to Thunder Air Flight TM420, making a brief stopover. Yeah, all right. On right on. Final destination, yeah. the land of the most vivid. Your captain. Uh, let's see. Your mission. Should you choose to accept it? That's what the song I'm looking for. Uh, what about? You know, let's see. Yeah, here we go. I don't know if this is it. No, it's not. Wait. Nope. 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 Anarchist for love. Mm -mm. Dude, I don't know if uh, I can't find the song that begins with like your mission should you choose to accept it is wreck shit and something I don't something know something. Why all these people want to wait their life? Yeah, uh, whatever. Let's play this one instead. Oh shit, we gotta do a creep ass Halloween special, motherfucker! Woo! Got an open egg video. Got shit figured out. Very excited. I had some other ideas for bits. I wrote some shit down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is for my people. Just getting drunk on the weekends, jump in the deep end, weeded by midweek, being so pissed that I couldn't even speak. Buckle at the knees, stumble on my feet, slur my words, my legs don't work. While my friends yelling, just don't get with her. Can you see that this bluesy is a hood rat? True that. Dude, my wherever you guys are, you gotta turn up the volume right now. Shit, I'm a retard, creeping in the back of every bar where I've been vibe. All I ever wanted was a cheap laugh, sneaking a flask, stuff buying beer. I'm getting wild in here. Pleased to meet you, my name is Oh Shit. You got a dollar for another cold drink? You yeah, why not? When all this next up is a five day week, distress and head fucks get crunk. This crown knows no halo. One day I'ma lay low and stay home, but till then, paint the town red. Till then, we paint the town red. All I know is some things forever change. I ain't gonna lie, try to self medicate. Till then, paint the town red. Till then, we paint the town red. <laughs> Oh yeah, Mitzula. That's exactly what I'm saying. By the way, Ice Fan's high as a kite. And probably on on the gay. Like it's a drug. <laughs> Got this hot shit all up in your mosh pit Bitch a tux, drunk as fuck, shotting on a toxic Biggie banging on a jukebox Bitches wishing it was you two Jesse hanging off a rooftop Hey girl cool. Inside of 2am, lock and pop The outside mayhem's got drop kicks boxing Man, you guys are missing it The invisible wife is giving me an invisible sexy dance right now Squash the problem, slay the conflict Spray the optics Biggie in the middle is a painful <laughs> option Here, Pay the fine huh? name, make the profit All in the name of progress It's nonsense I think Brian was very generous in his description. Dude, I, yeah, you know me. It doesn't take a lot to be sexy. That's true. <laughs> That's part of why I married you, I think. <laughs> Hello, party people. Yeah, there you go. Somebody give me the link to that uh, Japanese weird ass seat thrust thing. Everybody says hi, by the way. They all love you. Aww. Oh, shit. I got an angel on my 
my shoulders saying slow down You got to work in the morning You should call it an evening While the devil's on the oven saying go hard I accidentally did I, <laughs> I have a bad habit of posting from your Facebook account and watching Cora. I think we were waiting for Bonnie to get cut up and we had to watch like the last two, I think. Which one? Cora, Legend of Cora. Oh, is this... What? But this has nothing to do with Cora. Somebody asked if we're still watching it. Oh, okay. I was like, uh, am I been. getting a spoiler like, here? Because I, I, I don't I, I, remember I any of this. Yeah, I don't remember somebody's <laughs> face being blown off. <laughs> I thought my face was going to get blown off today. What? What happened? Oh, with the... Uh, with the stove? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you want to share that story? Uh, That's a whole thing. Well, I don't know if I'm a nut or not, but the the three fire department men who have a lot of experience in this. Did you say the fire department? I like it. <laughs> We're from the department. <laughs> <laughs> and then one guy the goes. The fire department. <laughs> <laughs> they, they all ha three have to say it. Like, department. Is that me? That's me choking the part, Justin. <laughs> this is amazing, man. Choke a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I'll choke. I'll choke a, a blue-faced Justin Robert Young. I don't care. <laughs> Motherfuckers. <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah, we had we have uh, somebody come in and to help clean because I, I take care of Brian and somebody has to take care of me. So. You can all right. You can lay it out. Huh? Well, it's like it's like we we. Well, struck. this is this is a home and an office and a studio. Yeah. It is it is many things. It's disastrous is what it is. Yeah. It's so freaking... so having one person once a week comes in. I I tell you we would have been divorced long ago if I didn't have a maid. So. And what I love is every time every time it happens you say thank you for cleaning the house. I Brian. know I do because <laughs> Brian pays for it and he's happy. He cheerfully pays for it. Yeah. Because I and, get all the credit for going around yeah, and cleaning everything. And I, and, I, and I tell him, like, every time money's tight, I'm like, should we let go? Should we let the maids go? He says, no. no. <laughs> I, like, I like you Being still happy. liking me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if I have to pick up Brian's undies, it's okay. Yeah, because, I mean, look at all I did. Yeah. I mean, he cleaned the house just two days ago. So I know. If, like, so it's like, I mean, it's just one pair of underwear. Right. I mean, per day. <laughs> Maybe two. Two or three, <laughs> depending on how many runs you oh go on God. or whatever. Or if you <laughs> have the runs. runs. <laughs> the runs on a run. I come back, like, I start testing our marriage. I just go out and I just, I yell, going out on a run. And I walk out and I just shit my britches. Come back and fling it on the floor. I'm like, I'm going to take a shower. <laughs> You're like, that was not, no, no. I don't, I don't like that. Anyways, so she comes in and, and she's all clean up the stove. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Somebody give me, somebody give me that, uh, that propaganda photo. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> People are making uh, propaganda photos. That say we will now bow. That we will not bow to the butts of criminal behinds. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> that Somebody find that so... one for me. Did Penny create a meme? I <laughs> hope so. Uh, where's Somebody oh send me that link again. We will not bow to the butts of criminal behinds. Oh my god. Yeah, here we go. We. Can I peek in? Am I gonna be visible? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no you're not visible. Here you go. <laughs> Dude, dude, for this song. I'm gonna, uh, somebody email me that. So Penny link. has her comedy album art now. Dude, no doubt. Yeah, so Penny, Penny, I found out this week that Penny was. Um, I was like, man, what's up with her behavior? Like, she's she's been pretty, pretty on target in her regular classroom, but then we have 
uh, GT, and she's like she's out of control. Yeah, she's just, just she's like testing everything testing and, 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 and testing making noise. And yeah, yeah. Trouble. and then I find out that she was trying to be the class clown, and I and I had to go, Penny. Nobody wants nobody respects the class clown. And I was like, nobody wants to be the class clown. The class, class clown, clown is, is just what happens because he's too dumb. Yeah, like he can't keep up, so he makes noise. And I'm like, you're Don't nobody. That that's like a position She's nobody wants. Like, if they get it, it's yeah. like, oh well, I guess that's me. But that's like the worst thing to be. And she's like, really? Oh, I was, I was kind of working on that that identity. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like she totally thought that was her role is to be the glass clown. And I <laughs> considered going back and deleting last night's uh, Justin TV feed. Oh really? Well, just because like like it was like I don't know. We were a little honest there, right? And plus, also like by the end, I saw you yawning, and it's like I'm so clearly wiped. I'm just like mumbling my words. Oh, so we sound pretty stupid. Uh, yeah, but but I decided to leave it because there's like uh like the people there clearly enjoyed it. I guess. You, 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 you write your you write your life in marker sharpie marker. Ain't no backseas. Here, here's how to twerk Hi, with seniors. I'm Sid Wild, and today oh I'm teaching twerking for senior citizens. Why? Because everybody's twerking now, except for old people. That needs to change. Old people need to get down with the booty popping. Step one, you swagger. The first thing I'm going to start with is your clothes. You people look ratchet. <laughs> now y'all be on point. All right, hashtag photo shoot fresh. Step two, positioning. You gotta put your hands on your knees. I can't. Well then, lean forward on your walker. <laughs> now, you have to arch your back and pretend like an imaginary string is pulling it from the ceiling. I haven't arched my back since 1976. Well, it's 2013. You gotta arch your back and get down with the booty popping, Grandma. I'm not your grandma. Step three. Booty popping. You gotta go up and down and up and down with your booty. Cheap pop. Like this? No. You have to pretend like your booty is having a stroke. I'm doing it. You're getting it, Papa! All right! Oh my twerk, God. twerk, 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 stroke, twerk. Step four, locations. <laughs> now that you can twerk, you gotta take it on the road, honey. Because this is a skill you can use anywhere. <laughs> like when you're walking across the street when you're getting your blood pressure taken, when you're waiting for your prescriptions, when you're cooking your dinner at 3 p.m. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Or when you're talking to your grandkids. I learned something new today. <laughs> it's called tricky. It's got depends on it. Say hi. No. Guess who's not going to be on my twerk team? Step five, start your own twerk team. Where's Doris? She got eliminated. She's dead? No. She just didn't make the twerk team. I didn't like her anyway. She stole my medication. Um, that was me. Oh. Now let's twerk it out! Yeah! Mm. Mm. Show those boys at the nursing home what they're missing! Oh. Man, it's so oh. weird. This, oh. this thing is like so hit and miss. It's like it gets really funny and then it gets really unfunny again. But then it gets really Make funny your again. Who's your grandpa? You be my grandpa, boy! You be my grandpa! It's my twerk whistle! Let's go! <laughs> Ain't nobody else doing it but click, 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 click. A million dollars for that hey guys, last five Sid seconds. Wilder. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, my shut video. up. Nobody Bye. cares. Come on. Uh, <laughs> should I end that with Scam School? Scam School's over. I fuck it up. I'm like, hi guys, it's Brian Brushwood. Thank you so much for watching <laughs> Scam School. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, and <laughs> birdie birdie berry, whatever. Yeah, that was that that just needed more editing. Like it was it it could have been a twite a tight a twite. twerk. <laughs> I can't do that. A, twite, a tight twat. A twight twat. A twitch. Could have been tight. Did it yeah. But just need it. Okay, people, we got one week weekend. until the park opens, all right? So let's run through it all again. This time, please, don't forget your accents. Get off my case. It's hot in this get up, you child. <laughs> I've got seven days to get this place ready. And if I don't make it work, I'm right back to the finger painting college. My junk is numb. <laughs> Beat my tongue! Someone get the Filipino employee back on that horse!
This place could become the best medieval theme park in the world. The only problem is that a lot of the employees here work about as hard as a bucket of apples. <laughs> it's beer and a ton of powdered donuts. Cause it's powerful, yeah! Powdered sugar! I like to get freaky. Get what I mean? I can see your crack. Don't look at me. Bet your crack went out with your face. Do you know what that even means? It means you're pathetic. Ooh. I hate that. Man, kid. I kind of like seeing songs like it. I kind of like seeing her take some control. Listen, son. I give you four cents each for them vanilla wafers. You can eat sand, young man. I mean, this guy's really ridiculous. Oh. Uh oh. Hey, girl, how you been? Face lick. Ooh, girl, you taste real good. Are you a fan of the Pikachu? Hmm, uh, ooh, she definitely gets a huzzah. Dude, that's Denise. Last night, we met this cool guy, and he was black. And then we went to the Firebug's house, and I was so good. The Beth over drinks. Is that right? Totally. I mean, she doesn't just sip it. She gets trashed and unrolls my socks. But I eat shrimps. You got the dope? Yeah, for shiz. Hey, man, hey, listen. Man, I don't know if I'm able to talk to you if you got a stink booty. <laughs> kind sir, I'm the evil stud muffin. Oh, really? You bet. I got girls in my dreams. How do you feel about people who go hot dookin? <laughs> hey, let's dance to music. That's my jam, Holmes. <laughs> I've always wanted to work at a Renaissance fair, Mr. Eddie. Dang it, Petey, don't ever call it a Renaissance fair, all right? Do you trust toothpaste? Yeah, I think it's all right. Go have your butt checked. <laughs> no, no thanks. Psych. I bet that you were a vaguely hot woman back in your day. You been busy? I'm working on a gravity belt. Hey, Jimmy, how's it going, all right? Today, I had a cheesesteak. Then I got a Walkman. Like a fancy Walkman? Kind of. I mean, anyone who puts a slice of pizza on bread is a Pukache Pukache. That's Aztec for lazy farmer. I looked on Wikipedia. Cool stuff. Now I'm gonna touch you. Do you want to hear your dad sing to you? Cause you know, I groove to Kanye's new stuff. Look, Petey, I just wanna comfort you. A nice massage and everything, okay? No, thank you, I but don't. Ah. I mean, I just don't- Zuba, 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 zuba. <laughs> That's what it sounds like you're saying right now. <laughs> Darth Vader is bad, and his assistant is a mouse. And he used the force to fix all his cats. Yes, yes, it did. In the basement, I hid some tube socks. And that was just crazy. Who hides dumb tube socks? Old Viking dudes. Tell me how you found the kitten meat. What does that mean? The kitten meat I put in my burgers everybody just ate? What? What? They're just baby cats. Jeez. Um, did that just happen? I'm not feeling good. Because we should have not eaten kitten meat. Poor baby. <laughs> you need a song. Little bunny bunny. You're so pretty and cute and you're precious to me. It's not doing much good. You dress ratchet. You're so mean. You're so mean. Well, you're a big toot. Well, you jerk. At least I never kissed Johnny Shotsman. Uh, he was a Capricorn. Your dog is ooey and it stinks. Oh, come on! Now I ask you a question. You think they should make iPhones for babies? Because I do. <laughs> I do too! <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> the hot dog stand's got no ketchup. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Jazz hand. Jazz hand. But we should start with it. Okay, that's it. No. Well played, bad, bad lip reading, you guys, motherfuckers. Yeah. 
Let me bring you back. I bring you back right now. I bring you back. Sit your ass right down. I bring you back. Let me bring you back right now for you. No one can settle disputes in my terrible twos. To tell you the truth, I wouldn't even level with you. Indeed, me, me, me was the general rule. Mama's like, please, I need sleep. I'm begging you, do. She'd do anything to get me to snooze. Fed me alphabet soup or vegetable stew, an edible goop. You can better refuse, 'cause this view was inevitable. And while Dad was watching Rocky films, picture me with a box of building blocks, slobbering on orange pills, screaming, "What's the deal? I need my bottle filled." Let's speak to Dr. Phil, but I couldn't reach the hospital. The chicken pox got me ill, and you can bet I got lots of thrills, popsicles, body pops, all up in this toddler's grill. Redskins with rocket fuel, milk goes optional. You could buy a python for less than a dollar bill. Back in the day, I was happy to say that I love getting carried away. Back in the day. For your internet bandwidth, I was on the block trying to be the best baddest BMX bandit, riding no-handed, trying to chuck a wheelie, vibing, hoping that the fuzz didn't see me. Mom's was a genie, whipping up the illest food, but she would never let us eat it in the living room. We spent summers in the next door swimming pool, dive bombing suckers live moves. Did you give me broom? Playing cricket in the driveway, but if you scratch that whip, you were bound to catch a tirade. Me and my mates flipping off the neighborhood jocks. We had it locked like the neighborhood watch. But nowadays the neighborhood's hot. Kids dump a couple of pills. Shit, I was chill with the bubble of Bill, a bag of marbles, phantom, the monkey magic. You couldn't imagine all the fun we had. We'll take it back in the day. I was happy to say that I love getting carried away. Back in the day. Obviously, there's always a, a place on the set for you anytime you're interested. So yeah. we'll be in touch. Awesome. Thanks. Right on. See you guys. All right. My, see you later, man. My favorite part of tonight was watching the chat room, watching someone get explained what's the India thing about. No, I missed that. <laughs> there was a whole conversation where someone was like, what's it with India? And someone else was like, well, you see, they used to get a lot of votes. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I missed that. Really? Do you really think that people are leaking that stuff? Absolutely. Absolutely. All of it? All of it. Every That's one crazy. Of them. All of it. Every one of them. Every one of them. Like, why? <laughs> How? Like, you're a rational person. There's no way that that is happening on too purpose. Many, too many of those things have happened. Too many, so, have too many people are dumb at their job. Have you never, have you never met Google. people? Not at Google. Yeah, no. But the thing is, is that like... What do you mean not at Google? People. Not at Google. They, what do you, you mean not at Google? You have to school transcript to, to work there. I yes. can't imagine somebody just like, oh, I hit the wrong button and made that page alive. Number one, Google's a very, very large company. Number two... I've seen, and I've been around Google a fair amount because of the Go game, and oh, not to say that oh, anybody I've been isn't. around Google. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just saying there's been a large cross section of people for which I have met that take paychecks from Google. Sure, yep. And not to say that any of them are stupid, <laughs> but it's not like everybody's a Mensa I'm just saying, person. I'm just saying that it's it's a little. They make mistakes. Yeah. About on the a same the same type of mistake at. What seemingly is spaced out intervals. But you're reading into that. These are, are random points of data for which you are drawing a correlating argument for. Right. And and therefore, like, was anyone talking about the Nexus 5 before any of this stuff started? Have happening? you would have been talking about the Nexus 5 with, with whatever. If they had not announced anything and then quietly Dude, put I'm, out a tweet about it, you would have been like, Nexus 5, because that's what you guys I'm, do. That's what the blogs do. I'm, there's there's one in them. There's There have been three now, right? There's There was the video. There was the video. There's this, the Google Play Store. There's one that I'm forgetting about that I can't remember the detail uh, of. Well, there's I mean, there's a there's a bunch of other leaks. There's, there's the been Tuco weirdness. Android yeah. uh, leak. There there was the, uh, the, screenshot, the FCC. Was, yeah. I just, I just, Not to like it's too, it's too. There's also, I mean, like that device, there's a million different people that right. have access to sure. that information. Yeah. There's a million different steps in which We've somebody can screw seen up. have never leaks like this though. Like they, they could keep, they could keep the Nexus 4 under wraps. Well, I mean, like I'm not saying that it is, it's just a series. It is 
Lemony Snicket in that it is a series of unfortunate events. Right, I, but the thing yeah. is, is that there are, there are a series of unfortunate events that are very high profile and very noticeable with the right influencing audiences, i.e. us and all the websites and all that sort of stuff. I'm just saying... You're just saying that this particular situation, which, by the way, solidifies you guys as a power player, along with all the other Android blogging class, happens to be the answer for why these have popped up. I, I, I believe it's a I believe it's a solid theory. <laughs> I, I think it's a combination. I think the first one probably was was intentional because the the very it's first different. one the um, kit kat very unveiling um, yeah framed too perfectly if that really was accidental someone really dropped the ball like you had to go out of your way to drop the ball on that one yeah uh, I, I that that one sounds legit that they're like oopsie or yeah, things like, like that. Really but like but like the thing it. popping up on the website that happens no. all yeah, the that's, time that's exactly what i was gonna say there's there's uh, that there's know, the man. intentional then there's the Dude that has a Nexus Five decides to go rogue and, and you know send screenshots to random blog just because yeah. he can and it's a kind of well oh, I'm man. powerful look what I can do it just and seems... then there's the Play Store mistake which I think totally was a mistake which was a oops I clicked that button holy crap right people can take screenshots in a moment's notice I don't know man wait whoa 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 what, what did I miss what are you guys what are you guys talking about <laughs> Just, Justin is tearing into me because he yes. believe he believes that I'm getting a little too grassy knoll it's with, a little 9/11 truther with, here oh, on the oh, Whoa, whoa. Slow, Why slow did Building video, 7 Brian. fall? Slow your roll, man. <laughs> Send um, video, Brian. Uh, because uh, who, Oh, I should I should be sending video. Let me try that again. I'll, uh, it says I'm sending video, but let me try it again. Go ahead, sirs. Google and their, the, the leaky ship that is the Nexus 5 <laughs> release, the I believe, is, is actually calculated um, controlled oh, hey, leaks. Uh, Chad, wait, wait, wait. Real quick, Chad, I got, I got mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. shut down all my Skypes and then restart yeah, them you because... Be cool. Uh, Talk to you in a bit. Shut, shut me down. All right. John Fingus in the chat says, never attribute to conspiracy what can be explained by incompetence. That's, that's my point. That's my point. My point is that these things can always be explained by somebody done goofed. I, I, yeah. you're right. They can, and that's why they're getting swept away. But I think that the the frequency of these occurrences and what is being revealed. So now we know what it looks like. We know a price point, right? And we have a ta a tagline, right? Like, I. But the idea. But here's my thing. The idea of leaking. Right. Is something that is done all the time. You go to somebody that you know, a friendly blogger or a friendly reporter, you give them the specs, they report the specs, the blogger or writer is happy that they get a scoop, you are happy that your version of the information gets out. This is a, a tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme. I've quoted Lemony Snicket and Beauty and the Beast so far in this discussion. This is why you come to Twitch. It's for this really, level it really of analysis. is a whole here's new world thing. in here's this the studio. Thing. But here, here is the thing. Think about it, though, okay? We have no date of a of a release. We have no date of an announcement. Yeah, we don't we know. Reported we, on that for three weeks in a row. We don't know when it's coming, and yet why are they prepping the Google Play Store for it? Okay, Apple rolls out new iPads. You know, like everyone's talking about Apple, and they're just mm -hmm. going to do this to get people talking about them. I I don't I don't know what it takes. You know, also, we don't know the back end. We don't know the, the back end of of how stuff gets pushed to the Google Play Store, and I would guess that there are more. Listen, there, there are more worked, hands in putting that stuff in than, let's say, Apple does listen, with their I've, website. I've worked 15 years in com Oh, look, who's... The <laughs> the, the, <laughs> just saying that you don't load content that you don't want to go into production a month before. Yeah. Or weeks before. If, if, like, if it was going to come out tomorrow, that would make sense. But if it's, we have no idea of when it's coming out, why is it being loaded to the Google Play Store? But then why, and, why why is that a more effective way to get the word out than let's say sending it to an Android blogger? Because because that, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know <laughs> I mean man. that's my point. Cuz now all Android bloggers are talking about it. Like they wouldn't if if one of the Android blogs had reported but if Google came point, to you. They reported it on a, a non-release date for 3 weeks in a row. Yeah. But here's the thing is that we love when people screw up and like, "Oh, look, they they put the wrong video in and we just swarmed on it like bees." <laughs> They're playing us. They're playing us right into their hands. 
I don't think they're upset that, that we're no, doing I what think, we're I doing. Think we're playing into their hands. I don't know if it's entirely intentional, but it's it's like one of those fortunate side projects. I, to I believe that what happens accidentally. I believe that they are screwing with us. I, I, He's screwing with you, it, like because you were you were like so you were, they're making us run around. Which by the way. Then your theory is Google's like, I know what will get people excited for this. Yes. We'll release a steady stream of what could possibly that'll get people excited about the product we'll eventually release that will have the same information as the dubious information that we possibly released before. Exactly. That That is the world we are in right now. What do you mean the world we're in? That is the that is the the, <laughs> the blogging. There's no reason movement. why that's more effective than just sending it to a friendly source to no, report because, it. Because 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 then someone's like exclusive photos of the Nexus Five, whatever, and then one and then it shows favoritism to one site and all that sort of stuff. This gets everyone. Oh, so now it. the reason that this is the way no, to do it is that, to no, protect just, the feelings of other Android no, I'm bloggers. Just, I'm just countering the argument that you're making about sure. it, but I believe, but I I think that they are they are strategically releasing this information at set intervals to get us to get everyone to keep on talking about it. What is what is the latest information? What how did they, this so come to Brian, you? So they, they they accidentally accidentally pushed the Nexus Five photo and price point and marketing tagline in the Google Play Store. It was live for a couple of minutes, just enough time for every blog to take screenshots of it, and then it got taken down. Or one okay. blog to take screenshots yeah, and sure. everybody yeah. did to. Sh Pass it oh, along okay, in but, the echo chamber. <clears throat> now, now, what's what's the benefit to it? Like, look, uh, pretty much, pretty much, Apple's given up the secrecy game. Now they just let everyone run all over and steal all those secrets, and then you have the keynote, and all it is is disappointment. Like that. That's, that's well, not a winning move. When they had magic, it was better. No, I mean, it was so, easier to keep secrets before they were like among the three biggest companies in the world. No, it was it was never. It's never been easy to keep secrets over there. I saw an iPhone three months before it came out. Yeah, yeah I, I, seven. I, I mean, like uh, back I, in the day, like there, there were just as many. There were just as many, you know, like. And yet, and yet now, if you had taken a picture of a new iPhone three months before it came out, yep. then now all of a sudden the pressure for you to get it out, or the ability oh, for sure, you to get yeah. it out, and it's, the interest to be able to read about it is infinitely more yeah, yeah, than it yeah, was. Yeah. You know, before it was a niche little yeah. thing. Now it's. You know, which is front why page of which is news. why Google would do this twice now, twice <laughs> to accidentally feature the phone that has not officially been announced and has no other information out there. The fact that no specs were up on the Google Play Store, there was the, other than the 16 gig and the price point, there was nothing out, right because like, there was no product page. Right, it was exactly. Just a yeah. Little teaser that. You I mean, I'm not saying the video. The video has all the hallmarks of a of a a, a whoopsie. A, a PR. Right? A PR. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh my God, how oh, does totally. this get there? So now, if it does, why isn't every whoopsie that happens after that not under suspicion? I mean, granted, I I see where you are coming from. Right. I just find it hard to believe that anybody in a position of power would find right. that more of an effective way to go about it than just leaking details. I, I, but uh, the way that it Justin, has been as done long for centuries. sharing leaked documents, I think this one is very important. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, and, and by the way, that's that just for what it. can I say? It's obvious. It's going to be on NSFW someday. Well, I can't believe Ron. No, I, I, one of these days, you're, you're staying. What? Hey, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, you, you say you don't think so? You don't think you're going to stick around one of these days? <laughs> no, I said I, will, I don't think I've been on the show proper. I'll stick around no. one of these days. Yeah, well, and that is that is some some BS that you haven't been on. We need yeah, to fix that for sure. Just email me, and I, I just gotta because I gotta do the zip car, so I gotta make sure I just booked the car long enough. But yeah, I'll gladly do it. Sweet, and we can right. we could argue about this for hours. Exactly. Could, Wait, are you East Bay or are you in well, San Francisco? Right. San Francisco. Oh, okay, but I'm coming from, but I work in Berkeley, so. Oh, gotcha. we, we we just need to teach him to shout uh, Pierce in 1776, and then he's he's got he's got the whole he's he's the internet's uh, Alex. <clears throat> uh, what's his name? Oh. 
Alex Smith, the Kansas City Chiefs quarterback. <laughs> oh. The oh, internet's Alex, Alex Smith. Jones. That's what I always call. I don't get the football reference. How, how did I forget <laughs> Alex Jones's name? And then how did I cause you to forget it as well? Uh, well, I was trying to think of another Alex. Yeah. Uh, I get yeah. Back to no, city. Ron, let, let's figure it out. Yeah. We'll like carpool. All right. And Brian, I know I owe you a frame rate appearance too. Heck yeah, you do. Yeah. I I, I, I intend to collect, sir. Now, yeah. Now that now that con season's pretty okay, much over, am I, I I got like three four months good. where my Just schedule's like a lot page. freer. So email me, we'll figure it out. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Great show, buddy. Thanks, man. Yeah, good times. Good to be All back. Right. Yep, good to have you back. I'll be here next week. Uh, good. Hey, Justin. I just want to make sure they're still working. Yeah. I had a total thought. What did you think? A total thought. You and thought you and thoughts. In my head. What? Yeah. What? Do you want to on Night Attack Live throw in like we don't have a we don't have a music section like we did uh, this last time and uh, people keep bringing up white people rich. You want to throw that as a single on the end on there? Because that did happen during that era. That was Neshcom's contribution. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, just so they have it, so it's a track that's in there. For green. Yeah. Uh, should I scoot further over here? I mean, of course, we we need to get permission. From yeah, Neshcom. I kind of like the really the only reason why I would say no is just because I kind of want to be finished with Night Attack Live. I just want. There to be well, no more time to. Yeah, you're right. I mean, it's already. I, I believe John has already put it in. So yeah, I think that'd be a problem. Although I'll tell you what, if we get permission by all the principals, then I have no problem with just putting it out on iTunes. Oh, as a single? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I mean, if people want it. In fact, no, we should good. probably just think about doing that in the future, no matter what. Whenever we have one of these crazy song things, you know? Yeah. I agree 100%. Somebody just sent me Chinese food. Uh, man, I'm convinced. We, we, we didn't talk about this at I all. I can but go it's like, for actually like 45 minutes on Chinese food because I feel like I need to have a con We need to have a conversation with the internet. Well, I, I think I do too. And I feel like we're on the same page. Like we're in, in, in defense. <laughs> this is of how Patrice, much we right? know each other, Brian, because we just literally had, I have an opinion. And you're like, I have an opinion. It's the same as yours based only on your tone. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you're right, by the way. I think we do have the same exact argument. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, uh, yeah, we can do that. And then I do, are we still rolling with our idea from earlier? That's going to, uh, here's, here's my plan. I'm going to, I'm, see, I'm writing down, I got ideas that I'm putting here. Uh, my plan is our ideas we discussed today yeah. will be what we do when we run out of steam on everything else. Well, right? I still feel like we'd have to we'd have to talk about it up front if we wanted to do the lyrics. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think it'd be funnier for us to riff and come up with it on the fly. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I kind of want chat room to get in on this though. Okay. All right. Uh, maybe maybe after the first break we'll throw that. <laughs> I don't know uh, how I missed There's a tragedy video. that we want to bring attention to. <laughs> it's important. Because hey, here's the thing. A... Here's the thing with that idea is that either we come at it with false pomposity or we like we can't do it at all. Because it is an afterthought, so we have to treat it like a big deal for it to be funny. Yeah, like we sure. can't treat right. it like an afterthought. Okay, good point. I think I just accidentally... Bonnie's Bonnie's doing her version of the old people twerking. <laughs> Did you see uh, uh, Justin? I guess I'm almost positive the All About Android crew is harmonizing in the back room. Oh, with mean? Padre. They're all just yeah. They're like they're like they're like tenors. A, like like a, like a, like a barbershop quartet. I, it's very weird, man. I'm like. We've, we've often talked that, like, really the only negative thing about any of this is, like, that we're not in the same place at the same time. But I really wish that you were here because it's very weird here sometimes. I believe it. I've been there. We experience the inverse of each other. Wow, I do look way younger without that crazy-ass mustache. Uh, 
just J- JC Bobbitt is saying I would kill for a copy of the belt song. It's just it's free. It's from <laughs> uh, broke for free. It's called calm the F down. Only F is the actual F word. Uh, go get it. It's free and it's free to use. Creative Commons. Enjoy, sir. Sorry, what were you saying, Bon? Oh, I was just wondering if Justin usually has people in the audience these days. Uh, yeah, no. you usually have an audience? Uh, no, I mean, every, every once in a while we'll people? have like one or two people that hang out You're and aware. and are here below the raised oh, platform here. I need to go here. get those that I used last time. Okay. Um, but... But normally, uh, uh, it's just the, the crew here. But sometimes the crew gets... You know, later at night, man, the stuff gets pretty loose here in the Twit Studio. That's what I like. That's this weekend getting loose. I know. We used to call it twiggles. Bottles start popping, co- tops Time come to off. jiggle your twiggles. That was our catchphrase. Jiggle your twiggles? Like jiggle your twiggles. It's this weekend getting loose. Now, if, if seriously, like, that was a show it's that pop, pop one of your daughters fudge. wanted to watch on Netflix, like, no, you're up like an eye, right? Jiggle your twiggles? No, I'm not gonna let her watch it. Jiggle your twiggles. I'm tell it, Bonnie. If jiggle your twiggles was something right, that Bonnie's, like Bonnie's getting, Bonnie's getting some headphones. In the meantime, while we're waiting to set up, uh, you want to see some of the greatest hits from the pre videos that, that we just ran? Sure, yeah. This is actually quietly an advertisement, and I didn't even mind it. And you, you're gonna have to wait for it. It's it's a minute long, but it pays off. All right. How you doing? Can I talk to you for a second? How are you? How are you? What is where me? Uh, where is it? This isn't it. Where is it? Where's Arkham Origins? You don't know where Arkham Origins is? You look like you play a lot of games, but don't play with me. Oh, Batman. Alright. Are you waiting for Arkham Origins to come out? All right. Do you guys know where Arkham Origins is? Unfortunately, no. Where is it? <laughs> Swear to me, you don't know. I promise my heart to God, I would never betray Batman. All right, I'll take your word for it. Where is it? Where is Arkham Origins? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Do you know where it is? Where is it? Where's Arkham Origins? Where is it? Where is it? I want a pre-order. Uh, pre-orders are your ally. Uh, that's a viral ad for Batman Arkham Origins. I thought it paid off at the end. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you did not? Not particularly. No. Yeah. Whatever. It's all right. Uh, let's see. There you go. Keep keep talking because I'm having to split my signal here. And it's uh, messing me up. Yeah. So uh, some big announcements here on the NSFW show. Uh, we have. Do we have a date? We don't have a date, right? We don't. We don't have a date yet, but but we'll have a date next week. Next week we'll be able to uh, to rock it. Uh, but we will have uh, an ability for you guys to get a bonus track from the forthcoming Night Attack live album uh, tomorrow. If you speaking hey. of which, give us we, your I have it on good authority that some custom videos to promote the new release should be available on Friday, like at least three of them. What? Uh, in the vein of Night Attack 2. I understand. Really? Yes. From? That's what I'm hearing. From Interesting. Your friend of mine. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm so uber excited. Are you? Have you listened to I, Night Attack I, Live yet, Bon? Yes. What, what, no, you, I live that stuff. What are you talking about? But, okay. <laughs> Bonnie, Bonnie was totally rolling her eyes when we were listening to it because uh, she took she took No, umbrage. I have stopped rolling my eyes. Okay, you're right. Actually, this is like a resolution. Bonnie is not rolling her eyes. Now yeah. she does. Now she just goes like. <laughs> like, like <laughs> she'll she'll do any other crazy thing when she wants to roll her eyes, but like she was not particularly fond of me saying that she had a tattoo on her side crotch, like that phrasing. Oh didn't really do yeah. yeah, 
She's like, it's called your hip, Brian. I'm like, whatever, side crotch hip. And so we talked about editing in me going, her hip. <laughs> just no explanation right there. Wait, so so that was edited out? No. 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 She fine. she was uh just... she was not thrilled. Bonnie gets Bonnie gets a little um I don't know, skittish, would you say that's the word about no, the Don't get on Bonnie about this. People. She has full rights. Anytime that you mention somebody else's side crotch, you are you have full <laughs> rights to get upset with it. Thank oh. you, Justin. You are a gentleman. I just know, listen, it's not to say, Brian, not to say that I wouldn't mention other I mean, listen, obviously I've played very fast and loose with other people's privacy in my stories to the sure. point where uh, I've had to go back and ask that like names be taken out after the fact. But I understand that I would catch heat if I did mention anything about the crotch of another in first person naming. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you know, like if we and let's say let's say uh, God willing, uh, this hits the charts again, right? That like our other two albums, this one charts on Billboard. Bonnie's natural yeah. response as uh, a loving wife and supporter of this endeavor would be to go out on Facebook and say, look at what Brian did. He is a, a number one <laughs> Billboard charting. And maybe one of those suburban Austin PTA moms says, oh, well, look, she keeps posting about this thing that her impressive husband is doing. Let me download it and listen to it. And next thing you know, it's side crotch, side crotch, side crotch. That's not a side fun position for Bonnie to be in. That's just what's going to happen. Everywhere I go, they're going to be like, side crotch. No, she's she's going to walk into the crotch. HEB and it's, it's side crotch, side crotch. <laughs> Boy, that was that was great regional awareness for you to drop the HEB reference. Hey, how's like, that? Like, there's that a is few people true. who are really gonna dig that. Uh, mm -hmm. It's only it's only because I've been to your house enough. Uh, I'll just I can yeah. go I can go super local suburban Austin Dripping Springs region. I can go all all local comedy there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stop by that Man. little mountain overlook Starbucks. <laughs> yes, oh, the, the, look the at Y that. don't kill. It's called the Y, by the way. It <laughs> splits like a Y. It's actually like mm. one of the coolest Starbucks. I, I, the last time I left your house, I wound up doing like some eye tricks work there, and it, like it is just an odd. It's an oddly smug Starbucks. It's just like over the Especially top of everything. Like that far, that far away from everything, you know. It's like okay, look, calm down, Starbucks. Yeah, you're three feet higher than everyone else, but let's not let it go to your head. Yeah, they're real just jerks. Those jerks. All right, I'm I ready to go. Whenever best you customer are, sir. service there, though. <laughs> yeah, good or bad? Great. No, they seem nice. I think the last time I was there, I remember I was listening to Cargill's book on audiobook, and I was writing I trick stuff. And that's a bunch of useless information that nobody cares ah. about. Mr. Brushway. Uh, what? This is too loud. It's too loud. Too loud. Too loud. Can you turn? I'm trying, uh, like, I have a turn to where I can barely hear it. Oh, so it affects both of us? Yeah, unfortunately. We're on the same channel, you and me, Bond. Do you want to borrow my headphones? <laughs> then I got to wear I gotta wear those awesome headphones. Hold on, let me try, let me try these off. What do you say, Justin? Uh, I like Cargo's book, Shit. too, Backstage Oyster. Should I do the I'm show looking like forward this, to the sequel. <laughs> I'm, I'm receiving you. Justin Robert Young, I'm receiving you. Over the line. Over. <laughs> Brian, go again. Yes. Go again. I said I'm receiving you just young over. <laughs> it's even funnier the second time. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> oh, I'm I'm wearing Bonnie's. All right, that's. You had to be I, there. I thought Sorry, you were like bro. testing something. No, uh, I was joking that um, Bonnie was complaining because her volumes were too loud, and uh, meanwhile, like we're both on the same ear thing because you'll hear echoes if I do the studio monitors. And as a result, like she's, hers are real loud. I'm like, let me hear that. And I was like, well, maybe I'll wear those during the show. And I put them on like, hey, wouldn't it be crazy if I wore pink leopard print headphones meant for an eight year old girl during NSFW. Oh. But instead it was greeted with silence and confusion. And then I found myself doing a meta moment where I was explaining everything right up to the moment of recursion and then I continued to explain, hoping that it would become meta. And then upon folding back on itself that time, reaching a third letter, let, let level of meta, 
I was hoping that at some point people would appreciate, if not the actual humor of what I was saying, but at least the effort and the tenacity and the refusal to give up, at which point it reached like a fourth level of meta because then I was explaining how I felt during it and not stopping at all. And around the fifth level, it actually kind of got funny because it was clear. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, you know, I have an explanation for the uh, second level. The, yes. Uh, first and no! second level. Yeah, no! No! I bro- I'm brodying it again! Uh, Nobody uh, gets to talk about this! This is boring! <laughs> I, I did have the P, the bleed speaker turned down so nobody could hear you except me, Brian. Oh, okay. All right. And well, everyone that's that's watching. I did everything for you. I hope it was worth it for you, Jammer. Thank you. I, I'm good here. I'm recording. I'm ready to go. All right. Hold on. Hi, John Tilton. You just called in the middle of NSFW show. What's up? <laughs> I'm not going to give you my credit card right now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need me to go... <laughs> Just take a picture of it and tweet uh, it. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, do, do you need it in order to, uh, like, I'll, I'll, I'll text it to you if you need it for the thing. <laughs> Mooncat is saying that John Tilton called Brian to congratulate okay. him on that joke. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'd like to think he did. I did that. Hey, That's a great joke, Brian. Brian. Also- so I just wanted to congratulate you. <laughs> <laughs> on that headphone joke, it was really funny. Also, I need your credit card info to pay down the so, debt. So, uh, could I have your credit now. card number? Because I want to <laughs> buy a house in Florida. All right, I'm feeling it. You get, Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Woo. I, this one is a month old, Justin, but somehow we missed it, and it never was our opening video. This is a real-life prank call oh. on our behalf to a local radio station. Did you see this? Yes. But go. 